And hello everyone, Peter here once again with another video for you. Um, in this video I draw a picture, of course. Um, you know, it used to be that uh, I didn't really I didn't really know the difference uh, between hemorrhoids and uh, a hemorrhage. You know, well it's not like I got them confused, I just didn't know that there were two separate things. Um, and so, like, I would be watching a TV show or something, uh, maybe something medical related, and perhaps they would be doing, like, brain surgery, you know? And suddenly, you know, there would be some tense moment where the uh, surgeon would suddenly uh, yell out, Oh no, he's hemorrhaging! And, you know, everything would go crazy, and I'd be like, Guys, what's the big deal, you know? There's no need to yell it out like that, you know? Um, and, you know, now the whole hospital knows. And how do you even know if he's he's got a hemorrhage? You know, you, his whole whole body's covered up. You've only, you're only looking at the inside of his brain. What's the big deal? And I was it was a little confusing to me, I'll be honest. Um, but eventually I did figure it out uh, somehow. Um, I don't know, that's a little awkward. Uh, but uh, speaking of which, shopping for clothes is a little difficult sometimes. I mean... I was always, for a large portion of my life, I was always a little perplexed at some people who found um, shopping so enthralling. Um, first of all, a huge downside to shopping is that you have to spend money to do it, right? Um, so, I mean, like, that's like, I don't know. But second of all, um, you gotta leave the house. Third of all, you gotta, like, I mean... For, okay, so shirts I can do, you know, like, and you, you know, I know they're simple, you know. I wear a medium, you just go, you flip through the rack, you know, you find a medium you like, you take it, you buy it, okay, easy. But like, um, socks, you know, you know, I wear like a, you, just, you know, they have like a little size, you know, nine and a half to 12 or something to buy that, because I usually wear like a 10 and a half or 11. Um, but like pants, that's like a whole nother thing, right? Pants are maybe my least favorite thing to buy ever. They're so confusing, and you have to try them on almost all the time. Unfortunately, I don't, just because I hate, like, trying things on. Not because I have, like, some weird fear of dressing rooms or something. I'm sure someone does, but it's just, like, such a hassle. Like, um, like, I don't know, it's just, like, I want my shopping to be quick and easy. I just want to go in there and grab the stuff I want to grab and leave. I don't want it to become, like, some big ordeal, you know? Like, I'm going to go in there. I don't want to go in there, like, try stuff on. It doesn't fit. Go grab a different size. Go see the people at the changing room again. You know, like, come on. And then, anyways, then, like, I feel like I used to wear, like, a like a 34, 32 or something. Or maybe it was a 32, 34. It's weird. Like, what is that? Like, you're... Your waist size and inseam, there's like two numbers. And I feel like maybe they they switched over the years. Like in the past 10 years, maybe like it was 32, 34, and now it's 34, 32 or something. Or I don't know. Like what are the chances of, I'm guessing those are, that's in inches. And what are the chances of that, those two numbers being so close for being two totally different measurements? Um, I don't know. It's weird and it's confusing. And it, um, you know, it puts me off buying pants. So I just end up wearing, you know, I have like two pairs of pants that I wear over and over again. And, uh, you know, then I wear pajama pants too. Pajama pants are a lot easier to buy, you know. They're a looser fit. And they're comfy. And, uh, you know, and if you stay at home, you don't have to wear pants at all. Mm, that's a good point. Anyways, this video was fun. I like these little square, these little square drawing panels, and uh, yeah, there I use the I use like a point one, zero point one, Staedtler pen for like all the lines and then uh, some dots, and then I went back in with a zero point zero five pigment micron to do some other dots afterwards, and I like how it turned out. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, see ya.